Alright folks, this video going to do primarily two exercises, I guess you could say three. We're going to use the belt squat with a straight bar, um, and I have this grip, and then we'll work it back this way. Then we'll do some uh, Marcy arm blasters at the end. Could cycle it. Um, but let's first get this guy going. Uh, you can also do a lot of this with a straight bar. Or you could potentially hit your Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym, whatever, pull up to a Life Fitness table machine and do these same type exercises. Um, so basically we're just Rule them this way, right? So there's no weight on here, but I still feel this, folks. Um, so we'll do about a dozen. Get warmed up, and then we'll flip it over. I think I probably need to rotate this other camera. Okay, here we go. So we do have the triple version, triple view version of this available. In case you want to see this at other angles. Um, so when I'm doing it this way, we can feel it. Let me stop a second on this meaty part of the forearm. Um, if you were to do hammer curls, which I say for bicep day, you'll feel it in that portion of your forearm. So, we're going to add some weight. Now, the nice thing about the belt squat is I can go through and, and grab a bunch of two and a halves. I could grab a bunch of fives. Um, you know, whatever you're capable of doing. I think we'll start with a bunch of two and a halves. Now, this is, you know, maybe it's going to get boring watching me do this and over, over and over. Um, so we have that. Another thing we might pull out, we have this guy, which also will give you a pretty good workout. So we may, we may do that by the end of the video. Alternative to this uh, straight bar would be this guy. Um, of course, this one's got padding on it, but for for this angle, it might be a little more comfortable for me. Uh, coming back the other way, maybe not so much because I have that fat bar. Um, this this bar I wish was a little bit longer, but it serves its purpose. All right, so. <clears throat> If you have a bunch of these, you know, you just have them stacked up and get ready to, to do your next set. And so I'm using my knees for support. Um, of course, if the chain was a little shorter, I probably wouldn't have to stretch my calves out like this, but it's all good. All right, so we're gonna switch. And, you know, people have talked about, uh, well, positive, negative comments. Um, I got pretty thick skin. Some of this stuff probably should set me off, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> um, now, people have talked um, all kinds of stuff like, you know, one of the, one of the recent things. Somebody had suggested doing before and after pictures. Well, you know, my before is uh, a much bigger, more muscular, uh, thinner waistline. That's, you know, that's my before. My after, um, I don't know where, 
where this journey takes me to. Um, you know, maybe we can get some of that, some more of that muscle back. Um, maybe, you know, we slim down the waistline. If I can figure out the perfect diet that allow me uh, to maintain um, some muscle, a lot of muscle, we'll say, and uh, get my waistline down to a much nicer size, that'd be great. The problem right now is for me to lose like three inches on my waistline, it seems like I've got to lose about uh, what do they say? Well, five pounds of fat, you know, or five, if you lose five pounds, you usually lose an inch around the waist. Um, but for me, it is so taxing that I think I'll end up losing more like, uh, what are we at, 27? Probably like 20 pounds will get us down there. All right, another two and a half. Uh, you know, so depending on how this goes, I may say, God, I need to buy more of these two and a half plates. I have a bunch of different manufactured ones, but uh, it's kind of nice to have the same the same weight plates. All right, so we're going to have a break. Ugh, it's late here, folks. Usually um, I don't work out this late in the evening, but we got to make sure we get our videos in. Like I have mentioned, I will be um, eventually going on the road for a while, and we'll be trying out a new gym. Um, it's going to become the home gym for quite a while. And then we'll come back to this, and we will by then have, I think, decided, hey, what do we want to do with this? all this space that I have to work with. Um, gosh, if I had my way years ago, <laughs> I probably um, would not have, you know, got the other part of this basement furnished, finished. I don't know why I always say furnished. I guess it is furnished too, but uh, we would have, you know, left it all like this basically. Oh. Yeah, I nice have a bathroom and a shower down here. It's nice to have my office down here. My office is freaking huge. Um, and then I've got my another living room, man cave, whatever. Such is life, you know, when you're you're spoiled, right? Um, but you know, do I really need a lot of shit? I guess in a way I do, because I gotta watch TV away from the wife sometimes. She watches her stuff. I like to watch my stuff. And sometimes we come together and we watch the same stuff together, but that is not, uh, you know, something that happens every time. Um, all right. So, I almost feel like we need to make some more YouTube shorts. You know, they uh, sometimes are the, the money maker when it comes to these videos, folks. Um, you know, if you make, I'm trying to think, well, if I get uh, 10,000 views on a YouTube short on a monetized channel. Or ten, what did I say? 10,000? 10,000, 20, 27,000 is a better number. But, you know, 27,000 views, that's uh, like five bucks. Um, of course, on a 2,000 viewed regular video, you could make a lot more. thing is, some of those videos are so much harder to get those kind of views. Alright, so we'll, we'll do this, flip this around, alright, All right, 
right, folks, using our uh, belt squat apparatus, you could do this with something like a Life Fitness cable machine as well. Got a straight bar here. We're just working our forearms. You can also do uh, at least this exercise with the straight bar. I find trying to do the, the next part of this exercise with a uh, straight bar, like an Olympic bar, doesn't seem to work out as great for me, but um, it might have to do with the size of this bar as far as it's a lot easier to grip. But we are basically getting our getting a forearm exercise in and this is something folks you gotta you gotta stick with, right? Don't just do it for a couple weeks and quit. You gotta do it week after week. Alright, so let me grab some more two and a half pounders. Starting to feel it, folks. I think I'm gonna grab some more two and a half because we're gonna probably do a few more sets. Um, now I do have micro weights as well. Like let's say you're, uh, I don't know, not nearly as strong as I am, and going up two and a half pounds is not uh, working out so great. You could buy a bunch of one pound plates, half pound plates, whatever. Um, oh wow, I found my weeder. 2.75 2.75 pound plate. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I have so many So many different plates here, it's kind of ridiculous, but then we've got so many similar ones. We've got a, about a, I think it's a 300 pound VTX set or 260. We have a standard plates, a lot of cap, cap Olympic plates. I've got to get, I've got to decide. All right, let's start another set here. Whether to buy more cap plates or more of some other stuff. I've got ideas for making a bunch of videos like, you know, this might be kind of stupid, but how, how much do all these cap plates weigh, right? So we'll weigh every one of them and then at the end, end of the video, um, I guess average them out. Like, hey, these are, uh, you know, not necessarily the weight that I stated, but, you know, they're only half, half percent off. That's pretty good. Some of them are right on the money. Some of them are 2%. Some are even 5 I think I had one that was 6% over the stated value. So if it said 5 it was like five pounds, five ounces, which is. If you had five pounders out there, you might feel the feel the difference. Wow, I'm getting tired, folks. Um, all right, so we are working on those forearms, and I obviously have a bigger right arm in general. Like everything about the right arm is bigger. Alright, so now this would probably be a good exercise for me to do um, if I could find a way to really do these one at a time, right? So I can grab dumbbells and do this as well. We won't in this video we're not gonna we're not gonna do those, but uh we're not grabbing any dumbbells. But that would be one way to make sure that you know my left arm is getting the same amount of work as the right arm. Alright, so we'll throw our first 
weeder plate on there. And I definitely am feeling that. Um, it might make it harder to do bench press tomorrow if everything's nice and tight. But, whew, gosh, yeah, so when we come back from our trip, I gotta figure out, folks, hey, what am I gonna do? To this place we're cleaning out right now I'm cleaning out this other area um, to get you know more equipment in here I think most likely you know we might not get a uh, Olympic car commercial um, shoulder press bench a fixed one it's um, because I look at them angled most of them are angled almost at like the back is at 90 and it's got a slight bend in it probably better for me to just use my Titan bench and use the power cage um, without a doubt we're gonna buy a better power cage I was actually looking at one from steel body today that is uh, it's like 500 bucks which you know isn't cheap it's three by three and so that means this belt squat apparatus would be even better for it um, what are the negatives you know the price um, the price the price the price now uh, I didn't see as many attachments to go with it but you know part of me was like oh, I'm gonna spend thousand dollars on a hammer strength half rack and you know hell is that worth it i'm starting to think it's not all right here we go so belt squat doing two forearm exercises for one you can also do this with life fitness and one of the nice things about the belt squat is when i get done let's say i have a bunch of two and a half pound plates um, when I get done with this set, I just drop another two and a half pounder on there. If you were going up in five pound increments, you could, uh, you know, drop fives on there. But two and a half, you know, is, is pretty good. Um, trying to, you know, add some size to the forearms and get them ripped up. But yeah, so for the next set, basically. Just take a weight plate, boom, ready to go. And if you're at Life Fitness, uh, using a Life Fitness machine, you're going to take the pin out, replace it, and go up and wait. Not that, you know, everybody needs to know that, but... So it makes it, it makes it pretty easy versus... Let me go grab the next dumbbell size up. And that's, you know, that can be quite a jump. Five pounds makes a difference. So I like... I hope we don't go up at two and a half pound increments. Um, yeah, getting back to what I was saying though, I think I think I'll probably buy an Olympic bench, even though this setup I've got's working out great. But I just kind of feel like I need an Olympic bench, flat bench that is. Um, and I should have. I say I should have. If I had more time. I would actually get on an airplane, fly to Texas, go buy three pieces of equipment that were all matching, and um, well, disassemble them, buy them, and then bring them back. And then this this room would be totally different because I'd have three pieces of equipment that are, you know, it would it would look more like a gym when you have three pieces of commercial equipment that are all the same color. Um, but one of them is, is exact models, this Nautilus Syncline that I have, so it's like, well, what do I do? Would I uh, take that bench and sell it? Um, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to have another um, you know, Olympic set or Olympic uh, commercial incline bench. All right, folks. Demonstrating another forearm exercise. And I keep going up in weight, two and a half pounds each round. And so far we've done 
quite a few rounds. And as I've stated in previous videos, you've really got to, you know, work at this consistently. You'll feel a good pump. You'll see the definition. You'll see the uh, the forearms get bigger. And then, lo and behold, you stop. And it's like you have to start all over again. So, if you're going to do bench press every week, you're going to do squats every week. Why not work your forearms every week, right? Alright, so that's my, that's my statement. So a lot of times I was just doing, I was doing the dumbbells and, you know, doing this grip with them, um, you know, it's all good, but I think you want to, you definitely want to work both parts of the forearm, the two major muscles, and you can't do that without doing at least two exercises. Um, we're not going to do it in this, this video, but, uh, you know, if I had a longer bar, we could do kind of like a reverse curl. It might not be such a bad thing. If I, had I bought a different lap bar, like one that's like the straight bar, but doesn't have the padding, it's longer, we could probably use that. Uh, I was gonna gonna buy the other curling bar, you know, for working biceps. The bar that's got you know actual curves in it, and it's uh, wouldn't show up in time for me to make use of it. So I decided, you know what, we'll get that when I get back, I guess. So I figure when I get back, we'll get we'll get some more accessories for this. We'll get the better power cage. This um, belt squat will work a lot better when it is actually in the probably in a three by three power cage. Um, God, what else though? There's a couple other things. So not only do we need to buy all that extra crap. There's a lot of stuff to buy, but um, probably a couple more accessories for this. Then I'll probably buy a lat machine and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we've got the Mercy Forearm Blaster is what I call it. And you can, you know, rest your arm there. Um, well, you probably almost simulate arm wrestling with it. Um, you can hang it to your side. I already feel that, folks. That tells me that the exercise before it worked out pretty good. So, yeah, we, uh, we got plans. Um, I probably will buy a new adjustable bench. One that's like a Life fitness, hammer strength, side backs, whatever. Just so that we have a good adjustable bench in case I want to max out on incline. I don't want to use the commercial bench. I want to come in five degrees, ten degrees less over here. Um, so you probably see that. Eventually, we'll we'll do something with the walls in here, make them look better. All right, so we're gonna do a YouTube short. There it is. All right, folks, got the Marcy, what I call the forearm blaster. Uh, pretty easy to use this here device, and you'll feel it on this part of the forearm. Um, ability to 
adjust the hand position. So I've got mine all the way out. And then resistance, we can increase it by rotating it that way. I do this in conjunction with another uh, couple sets of forearm exercises I like to do. And then I use this kind of as the finishing device. Now, it's going to take, you know, it take months really before you really notice uh, differences in your forearms. And uh, it could take up to six months, maybe even longer. But uh, this is something, you know, yours truly hasn't been consistent with. Okay. So, I'll take a little bit of a breather. 26 minute video, folks. Um, yeah, more accessories. I think I'll probably buy some more 45 pound plates. Um, we probably get a new bench daddy. We'll get a, a two ply that is uh, the next size up so that I can do my, um, probably do some ridiculous heavy lifts. All right, I'm going to demonstrate the Marcy forearm blaster, as I like to call it. So, you adjust the hand position up here, adjust your resistance, uh, turning it this way towards the, yeah, the negative makes it easier, turning it the other way towards the positive sign makes it harder. Um, you know, I try and do at least 12 of these, and then I'll uh, alternate. I don't know that this device by itself is really going to beef up your forearms, but uh, if you do this in conjunction with some other forearm exercises, it's probably going to help you out. You know, nothing like a good set of forearms when, uh, when you're wearing a short sleeve polo. Thanks for checking out the video. Alright folks, so <sighs> we'll hang this back up. Do we want to do any more? feel like that was actually a pretty decent forearm workout. Um, we have this device. And sometimes I'll use this with the belt squat. Um, but let's go ahead and just do, do one set with a five. Now, I thought about getting a second one of these guys for doing a bench press and having these hang down from a chain, it's wrapped around the bar, and then at a certain point, the chain, um, you're maybe up here and you're pressing that last bit, yeah, it's harder because you've got the additional weight on there. All right, folks, so we're just going to basically do this. Work on our forearms and then let it go down. And work on our forearms. And then usually by the third one, Alright, so that's going to do it, folks. Thanks for checking out my forearm video. We'll get there eventually.